hi guys welcome back to my channel to bamji foods diy today i'm going to be showing you how to make this popular well-known ghana brown soap it looks a little bit translucent it's not as opaque as the normal laundry bar soap that we buy so stay tuned if you are new to my channel please like and subscribe thank you welcome back thank you for staying back so first i'm going to show you all the chemical components we are going to be using for this particular process this is my red oil i bleached it on fire a little bit so that the red or the red color can disappear to some extent i use 60 to 70 percent of my red oil than the palm kernel oil in this procedure i'll be making use of palm kernel oil and also the normal red palm oil so first i'll measure the red palm oil that i bleached on fire please this is not chemically bleached red oil note you can still use chemically bleached red oil but if you want to get a more golden color kind of brown soap i think you should limit how you how you how you bleach your oil or instead don't just add palm kernel oil you add um, only the red palm oil so that you have at the end you have that orange golden look more so now I just added my palm kernel oil to it you can see the palm kernel oil just lightened the color of the already existing red palm oil in the basin I'm just taking my measurements with this uh, stainless tray so depending on the color you want to arrive at that will determine how you blend your oils i use a little bit more of the red palm oil than the palm kernel oil maybe i'll do another video where where i'll use only the red palm oil so that you see the difference in the final outcome what it will look like it will be more golden if you use only red palm oil so the next i'm going to take measurement of my caustic soda i've already calculated how to the quantity of caustic soda that i need i have a video in my channel of how to take your calculation for the cost for your caustic soda i'll link the video up in the description box if you are still finding it difficult to make your own calculations yourself using the saponification charts so this is actually what i did and got the value of the caustic soda i'm supposed to take the weight of so here i finished measuring my caustic soda i will set it aside and continue with other components that will be used in this bar soap production next on the list is to measure the quantity of the water that we'll be using for this production please note fully well that in this production you should best use a 30 to 70 ratio of your caustic soda to your water water quantity please you need more water to be able to achieve the gel phase so please 70 percent to 30 percent to 70 percent that's what i'm using next i took the measurement of my sugar solution how you make your sugar solution is just to add your powdered sugar into a little bit warm water and keep it for some time so that all the sugar can dissolve very well you can keep it overnight you can keep it for some time just make sure that all the granules of the sugar is well dissolved before you use it
next we are going to measure the ethanol we are going to use you need ethanol to be able to achieve this gel phase in this hot process we are going to need ethanol so i just measured the ethanol quantity we'll add three bottle caps of glycerin to our ethanol this glycerin will help to make the soap to be uh, moisturizing and also to make our alcohol not to evaporate quickly when we add it so you need glycerin in this production i have listed all the solvents that will be needing to be able to achieve a hot process gel phase in this production we are actually looking at to make our soap to gel perfectly before we pour it into the mold so here I'm, um, this is my caustic soda, it has already diluted, I'm pouring it into the oil to turn. Just watch and see what I do. Add your caustic soda solution, that's your light solution, little by little, and stir gently. Continue stirring till you have a perfect trace. Now we are going to transfer it to our kerosene stove. I normally use kerosene stove and I advise people that I train to use kerosene stove because it, it, you can easily control the fire. So you have to lower the light to the barest minimum as if the stove wants to even go off. You don't need, need heat, plenty heat. You just need the, the mixture, the solution to be, to be a little bit warm. The heat should be generated gently if it's very hot if it start boiling stop immediately bring it down do not allow your mixture to boil once it boils your soap is going to separate and you will not like the outcome it will be wasted and if you are still a newbie you may just throw it away so just continue turning leave it on fire and watch as the gelling will set you can see from this video now the center of the of the mixture have started gelling a little bit is changing color so i'm just going to turn it a little bit and then cover it so that the heat can actually spread around the whole mixture once the heat spread around the whole mixture everything is going to gel perfectly we want this mixture to be looking a little bit translucent a little bit transparent that's what I mean by the gel phase. We need to achieve gel phase in this soap making. That's how we we'll come about the Ghana brown soap, the popular Ghana brown soap. So please just keep watching and see how I do this. I'm using a very low heat, a very low heat. So I'll cover it now and then continue. Remember, I've not added my alcohol. It's just the soap mixture, the soap and lime mixture that I put on fire. It has to gel before you add your alcohol look at how it looks now you can see i have to bring it out under the sun so that you guys can see it very well you can see the the soap has gelled not all round gel but it has gelled the color have changed it's more looking like a custard or will i say it's looking like sugar that you melted on fire i hope you can see perfectly what it means for your soap to gel if you have not gotten to this particular stage you've not gotten it right just a very low heat cover it and allow the heat to spread you'll get to this particular stage so at this stage you can now add your alcohol and you know that alcohol will increase the heat in the um, solution so when you add your alcohol as you are putting it back on fire please be very careful do not let it boil immediately you notice it wants to boil bring it out immediately 
I always have a bowl of cold water around when I'm making hot process. Immediately I notice any boiling, I pull my stainless uh, bowl and, and drop it in my cold, cold bowl be sure so that it can cool down a little bit. So just stir. The ethanol will help you to break down the soap particles, soap molecules, and allow every, every granule to dissolve perfectly so that light can at least pass through it. You see, this is not the normal hot process. Had it been added calcium carbonate to this soap, I would not achieve this. In this kind of um, soap making, do not add calcium carbonate, any filler to it. Your soap needs to be looking this way when you unmold it and when it's, it is very well cured and dried. Look very well. You can see how it looks like a gel. We want to achieve this texture. If you add more red oil to this mixture, it will be more golden, more red than what you are seeing here. I'll make a video with only plain red oil and show you guys later. But let's continue. You can see how it looks. Just turn, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning so that everything will mix perfectly. It's still, it's still a little bit warm. More. It's still, there's still heat in it, but is not very hot it's not too hot it's just warm so this is our sugar solution is all dissolved you can see there is no granule inside you add it little by little please little by little if you add small you stay if you add small you stay make sure at this stage that you have already prepared your mold where you pour in your 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 soap your mixture because once you add sugar to your mixture you might you might actually <laughs> start seeing your soap to um setting so that's all we're not adding any perfume to this particular soap making because the normal ghana soap does not have any perfume in it the ethanol kills the smell of the caustic soda and also reduces the smell of the palm kernel oil so just pour into your mold when you finish you understand what i mean it smells nice you don't really need a perfume for this procedure if you add perfume it may spoil your trace but if you want to try no problem so just cover everything up find a carbon paper or a carton to cover it find something like a small bag and put your um, mixture in it we need to still be generating heat for the soap to gel completely so i used a cooler bag brought the cooler bag opened it and then dropped the whole pass um, package inside it just leave it for like 30 minutes if you leave it over 30 minutes the it you have volcano inside this bag it is it will going to boil out so just allow it for like 30 minutes you bring it out by that time everything must have melted and set very well into liquid form then you bring it out and keep it in an airy environment for it to dry the next video let's see how it looks like so this is this is almost about 24 hours afterwards or let's say 18 hours not really to i don't think it's up to 24 hours afterwards look at how the soap looks like remember it's not yet properly dried it's dried enough for you to cut into any design you want to cut but you still leave it to cure and get very hard but with hot process soap you don't have to leave it for a very long time remember there is ethanol in it and the reason why we, let me mention the reason why i added the sugar in it is to make the soap foam more better so look at how the soap looks like i've i've cut it i'll bring it out under the sun so that you actually see what i'm talking about the soap being translucent so look at how the soap looks like you see this looks like a perfect ghana soap brown soap that they sell in the supermarket you see the edges you can see the sun passing through it so the the more it gets dry and hard the better so this is our final soap it looks lovely it smells nice and it foams very well thank you guys for staying to the end of this video if you have anything you can drop in the comment section i'll be right back to answer you all thank you guys please like and share my video and subscribe